how to create faux crown molding with paint. Crown molding is a type of decorative trim that adds depth and visual interest in a room. The molding, which runs along the walls of a room below the ceiling, is typically made of wood or plaster. Now you can enhance the look of your existing crown molding easily or create your own inexpensively with only paint. A few tools and supplies and your favorite Clark and Kensington paint colors are all you need to get the project done yourself quickly and easily. Start by selecting your favorite color from the Clark & Kensington color fixture that complements your decor. If you're working with an existing wall color, select a shade darker than the main wall color as an accent. Select a classic white as a contrasting color for your crown molding and trim. Ask to have your colors tinted in Clark & Kensington. A tintable pint sample of each color is the ideal amount for a small project like this. If you have existing crown molding and baseboards, select a narrow trim piece in the thickness of your choice to complement them. A one inch to a one and a half inch trim is ideal for this type of project. Paint the trim piece with one to two coats of your favorite Clark & Kensington Classic White. Cover your floor with a drop cloth to protect the surfaces. You'll want to make sure the walls are clean, sound, and free of dirt or grease. Decide on the placement of the trim molding. If you have 8 foot ceilings with crown molding, measuring 6 inches down from the base of the existing crown molding is a good height. Mark lightly with a pencil. Place painter's tape directly below the pencil mark around the perimeter of the room. You'll also want to place painter's tape along the bottom edge of the existing crown molding to protect it from getting painted. To determine how much molding you'll need, measure each wall and add another 10 to 15 percent excess to each piece to account for waste. If you use Clark & Kensington interior paint and primer in one, there's no need to prime before you paint. Pint size color samples tintable into any color, are available in interior satin sheen. This is a good sheen for trim. Here we have selected a darker shade of gray to complement the existing light gray wall color and white trim. Using a mini paint roller, paint the wall between the top crown molding and the painter's tape with a darker accent color. Allow to dry completely, then remove the painter's tape. Attach the painted trim piece directly over the bottom edge of the painted area using a nail gun approximately every 12 inches. Use a small level to ensure straight placement. Once all the molding is secure, use painter's putty to fill in the nail holes. Once dry, touch up the areas with your selected classic white paint, allowed to dry completely. You can create a similar look by just using paint. Now step back and admire your creativity. For step-by-step -step instructions, go to thepaintstudio.com.